Hi and welcome to video number four in our five-part video series about installing plugins in your self-hosted WordPress website for DS106. This video is going to talk about installing plugins that integrate with the photo sharing website Flickr. Um, and we've given students in DS106 this summer the option of choosing the Flickr plugin that they might want to install on their site. Um, there's lots of plugins that have been written to integrate WordPress and Flickr. I'm going to be showing you how to install and set up two of them that do two very different things. So how I'm going to get started is go to my plugins page and click add new. And then I'm going to search the Flickr repository or the, excuse me, the plugin repository for the word Flickr. And there are 251 results. That's how many plugins um, integrate with Flickr that have been in up uploaded into the repository. And the two that I'm interested in are this plugin Slicker Flickr and another plugin further down the page called Flickr Photo Post. So you can read these descriptions, but I'll just tell you briefly that Slicker Flickr is a plugin that allows you to interface with your Flickr account and display a gallery of your public photos somewhere on your website. Um, Flickr Photo Post is a different kind of plugin that allows you to easily embed Flickr photos into posts or pages. Um, not just your photos, but any photo that has been uploaded into Flickr and licensed using a Creative Commons license. So these are two different kinds of plugins that do two different things. But both of them integrate with the Flickr website. So let's go ahead first and install Slicker Flickr. I'm just going to activate that and then I'm going to, while I'm here, just go ahead and quickly install and activate Flickr Photo Post, which is right here. Now, if I go to my settings tab now, I will see that I now have a new option for Slicker Flickr. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. There's a bunch of different ways that I can identify myself in this plugin. The easiest way and the only thing that you need to do to really get up and running is to put in your Flickr ID. Now, unfortunately, your Flickr ID can be sometimes a little tricky to find. This is the format that it takes. It's a bunch of numbers followed by an at sign followed by N00 um, or N some other numbers. Um, but when I go to my Flickr page, let me just go ahead and jump over there. You'll see that my URL doesn't have anything that looks like it, um, looks like that ID in it. Um, luckily, um, the Slicker Flicker settings page has a link to another website called idgetter.com, which will help me find my Flicker ID. It's a really simple website. It just asks me to paste in the URL of my photo page in Flickr, which I now have open here. Just copy that and paste it and click Find. And sure enough, it passes back to me um, an ID number in the format that I was looking for. I'm going to just go ahead and put that there. That's really all I need to do to get up and running with um, Slicker Flickr. If I want, I could also integrate it with a particular um, group um, that I might be a member of, or I can uh, activate an API key which will allow me to retrieve more than 20 photos at a time. So if that's something you're interested in doing, there are instructions here about how to do that. Um, below that uh, setting information, that uh, ID information, there's some display options for the gallery that I might create. Um, so number of photos I want to display, um, the type of gallery I want to uh, create, the photo size, whether or not I want captions to be on or off, um, whether or not I want to autoplay, etc. Now, you will notice um, that in each of these sections in the instructions, uh, the settings page provides what is called an example of a short code. And a short code is a special code that you use in WordPress uh, to display something on a post or a page or a widget um, that a plugin provides. And in this case, this is the Slicker Flicker short code. And you'll see that there are various options in this code um, that can be changed. So in addition to being able to set up these default options here, I can alter them in any way that I want to 
um, using these short code options. So let's say I want to set up um, a gallery on a page um, with a tag of Bahamas. I would copy and paste this short code into my page um, and it would show all of my images that have been tagged with Bahamas. Now, I don't have any images tagged with Bahamas, unfortunately, um, but I do have other tags um, that I use, and I can substitute those um, for Bahamas with a tag that I do use, and that will show a gallery of images of my photos that have been tagged with that particular tag. So these are all the various options, and there are, like I said, short code examples for setting them for all of them. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy this one. And I'm going to um, just add a new page. Oh, you know what I also need to do before I um, set up that page is I just need to save my changes because I hadn't saved that after putting my Flickr ID in. So now I'm going to just um, give this a title. And type in my short code, only I am going to change my tag to DS106 and the type, I think what I want is Galleria. Um, and we'll see what that does. I'll just go ahead and publish that. I'm going to go view my page. And sure enough, here is a little gallery of my photos, which will play automatically, but which I also can click through. So this would be kind of an interesting to do, thing to do, for example, if you wanted to create a gallery of all of the photos you've taken for Daily Create. Um, you would need to tag all of them with some um, common tag like Daily Create and then set up a gallery that filters on that tag. And you could have a page on your website of all of your Daily Create images. So that's how you use Slicker Flickr. I'm going to go ahead and close those pages and close ID Getter. And now I'm going to show you um, how our other Flickr plugin that we installed, which was Flickr um, Photo Post. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new post. Now, I've installed this plugin called Flickr Photo Post, but when I go to my settings tab, there's nothing here. There's nothing under tools. There's no new menu items. There's nothing obvious on my edit page. How do I use this plugin? Well, this is where um, plugins can be a little bit challenging. Sometimes you have to go and read the instructions on the plugin creator's website, and sometimes you just have to do a little hunting. Um, I happen to know that for this plugin, to use it, I need to actually click my Add Media button. And lo and behold, I now have a new tab up here called Flickr, which I can search with any tag that I want. So if I search images, it's going to retrieve for me all of the Creative Commons images in Flickr that have been tagged DS106. Hopefully my network connection is working. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll try this again. Let me close that and try one more time. So go here and enter a tag, and there we go. There are our DS106 images that people have uploaded and licensed with Creative Commons. Here's a photo from my camp co-director, Alan Levine. And I can choose how I want to align it, how long I want it to be, or large I want it to be. Um, and I can see that it's going to give a credit down at the bottom um, to the person who created it. Sure enough, there it is, and I can publish that. So this is a really nice plugin for integrating images into your posts, which is a, a very important part of learning how to write for the web. Um, the web is a visual medium. You have access to all kinds of media that you can use in your posts and pages. And Flickr Photo Post is a plugin that makes it that much easier to look for and find images that complement or underpin the themes and ideas that you're writing about. So those are two Flickr plugins that I've shown you. Hopefully you can get those up and running, or if they're not quite what you're looking for, take a look around and see if you can find a Flickr plugin that does work for you.